Hey guys, it's Stanford here with First Updates Now, and today I'm with Team 1538, the Holy Cows, uh, and the really incredible robot that they've got here. They've got um, a really cool claw on the front of their robot. We're going to talk about their arm, their A-frame, and the really cool wiring that they have on this robot here to help me talk about that is Ben, Jay, Gavin, and Cindy, and stay tuned for all that and more on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. FRC competition season is here. Submit your favorite moments to FRC Clips of the Week by each Sunday at discord.gg slash first updates now. Also, the FRC Top 25 poll is open Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern to Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern, where you can vote for your top 25 teams of the week at firstupdatesnow.com slash FRC Top 25. So first up, we're going to be talking about uh, the claw that's on the front of this robot with Ben. So Ben, take it away. What's up, guys? Um, basically, let me just pull this out real quick so we can get started here. Alright, All right, basic overview of the robot real quick and then I'll talk about the claw. Um, there are two articulating points on the claw, or, or the whole entire robot. The first main articulating point is this point which articulates our telescope. Um, and then we have a claw which can go 180 degrees. So basically, uh, our claw actuates outwards, we can grab cones like that and we can also go back and forth to grab cones on the floor. Um, let's see here, we'll get more in depth in the claw, get close. These tolerances are very close. Um, so basically how this works is um, back here we have like a pneumatic which can open the claw this way. Um, and then we have a falcon in here that's uh, packaged really nicely so everything in this claw structure stays nice and safe. And then we also have a gearbox that can articulate this claw 180 degrees. Could you click the, uh, the, no, the stow button? Wait, turn it off? Yeah, yeah. Cool. So the claw articulates back and forth depending on where we're scoring. And uh, Jay can talk about the other subsystems. Um, so here I'm going to highlight our arm and our telescope that we have uh, going out through this thing. So our primary through our telescope is the actually West Coast products, uh, Collett's uh, Climber in the Box, kind of great T telescope. And we modified our telescope uh, through this drum here, you can see. It is powered both in and out, so we got rid of our constant force springs and we decided to go for a fully powered um, telescope that's like fully extended and uh, retracted on its own. Yeah, yeah, you want to run the... So you can see as it extends out, it's fully extended and it goes up and we can hit all three uh, positions throughout our height. Go ahead and bring it back in. So it's just fully powered, um, retracted and extended uh, with a completely custom gearbox on the end there. Yeah, really cool. Uh, we've seen both of those mechanisms be very effective here at the 2023 uh, Orange County Regional. Next thing we're going to be talking about is uh, with Gavin here, we're going to be talking about the A-frame structure that holds that arm and intake up. Hello. So we have an A-frame. One of the goals when we were designing our robot was to keep it functionally symmetric. So because of this, can I get a cone? So we do not have a wrist that allows us to rotate like this. So instead, we can pick up a cone upside down off the field and flip it around because we are symmetric. Um, the A-frame is going to have a pivot at 15, I mean, sorry, 18 inches. The pivot is at 18 inches, and it is powered by a falcon down here. We made sure to have a only partially going through shaft because we wanted the full range for the telescope. Um. All right. And then the last thing we're going to talk about is uh, something that's really cool and something that Holy Cows are kind of known for is uh, the wiring that's on this robot. So, uh, Cindy, if you want to take it away. Thank you so much. So our wiring is split into two parts. Uh, let's disable it so we can flip this over. So we have a top part and a bottom part. A bottom part, and so the bottom is where most of our electronics are because we wanted to focus on being bottom heavy, especially since this year there's a lot of tipping going on, and we want to make sure that we stay upright most of the time. So. Going this way, you can see this is our battery box, which if you come a little closer, is kind of set like halfway into our base frame, and that's so we're kind of heavy on the bottom. We have our PDH right here, which controls all of our powers. We have our 
PCM, which are our pneumatics, so I think it's routed. Here's our compressor, and this is our canister for. So for wiring, we do have very high standards in terms of like visuals, so we make sure when we do training or we teach our, our rookies and new students on how to wire, we make sure that all of our angles are 90, we always double check everything so there's no like system failure, and we kind of, we have a lot of rigorous tests that rookies go through at the beginning of the semester, and that pretty much helps with like having a good wiring in the end. So if you want to look at the top, so we have our eye just here for our telescoping arm. So when it comes out, this will come up, and it will reach all the way to our claw, and we won't have any snagging or anything like that. Um, and then for the bottom, we have, if you want to come close, we have our can coders, and these connect to our motors where our swerve modules are. And I believe these are top bus. We, call, we like to call our can bus cow bus because we're the holy cows. Fun fact. Thank you. Very cool. Um, definitely the, one of the cleanest, most effective robots we're seeing here in Orange County. Uh, definitely look out for the holy cows this competition season. So thank you guys for allowing us to interview, and uh, good luck with the rest of your season. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. The Charged Up competition season is here. We have a ton of live Twitch and YouTube content coming to you. All of our uploads and archives, including shows, behind the bumpers, finalysis, and more, are available at youtube.com slash firstupdatesnow. Check out all of our live shows on Mondays and Tuesdays at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.